If you own an Oculus Quest or an Oculus Quest 2 and you're having trouble with your Oculus Link, then this video may be the one for you. I recently encountered a problem with my Oculus Link software and I think I may have a fix for it regardless of what GPU type you have installed in your PC. So let's talk about this. What's going on everyone? Joshua at For The Love Of Games. So this Oculus Link problem that I was having was something that popped its ugly head when I was trying to record some game footage for a upcoming video that I have. And honestly, this is kind of unacceptable and the fix is a little off-putting. It's a little weird too. Um, so let me just show you what's going on. All right, so what you're seeing right now is a direct screencast from my Oculus Quest 2 to my PC so I can capture this footage. So I can show you guys exactly what is going on in real time. Now I do have my Oculus Link cable right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just plug it in without touching any settings. We're just gonna go ahead and plug it in and hopefully I can get this in relatively quickly. And you guys can be able to see this in real time now. Okay. Oculus Quest 2 is now plugged in. It's going to ask me to allow access to my computer. I'm going to say allow. I'm just going to go ahead and recenter it real quick. But as you see, nothing happened. It didn't ask me if I wanted to connect to my PC, if I wanted to enable link, if I want to do anything. And if we go ahead and we look at the desktop right now, we can see that the Oculus Link software, the Oculus software, isn't detecting my Oculus Quest 2 whatsoever. So this is how we're going to fix this. Let's head back over to the Oculus Quest screen capture. Here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to head to our settings tab in our Oculus Quest 2 itself. I'm going to unplug the headset. And right here under experimental features where it says Air Link, we're going to disable Air Link. Right, Air Link is now disabled. Now watch what happens when I go ahead and I plug in my Oculus Quest 2 now. We get it in for a shot here, hopefully. There it is. It's going to ask me to allow access again. I'm going to go ahead and say allow. And I'm going to recenter my headset again. And now it's giving me the option to enable Oculus Link. So I can go ahead and say enable and it will just pop into Oculus Link, no problems whatsoever. And as you can see, there it is. There is the Oculus Link actually running. So that's that. That is the simple, easy fix. And if we head over to the desktop once again, let me show you what's going on with the Oculus Link software. And in the Oculus Quest software, it is actually picking it up and it's detecting the Oculus Quest 2 and its controller without any issues whatsoever. So there you go. Try toggling off AirLink and see if that actually helps your issue. So there you go. If you have any problems with Oculus Link, head to the settings in the Oculus Quest headset, go down to experimental features and shut off AirLink. For whatever reason, AirLink is actually stopping Oculus Link from working with the cable. And honestly, who knows when Oculus is going to fix this. But it doesn't matter if you have an AMD GPU or an NVIDIA GPU. This is a quick little workaround for you to get your Oculus Link working with the cable again. I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful in some way. And if you did, a like to this video would be very much appreciated. But until next time, guys, I'm Joshua for the Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.